Around four years ago, I got myself into a difficult question. Should I start considering using Unreal instead of Unity? Should I trash away five years of experience in Unity to move to something unknown? What is the benefit? What is the cost? Having a coding career that started in the 80s and deciding to turn to video games in 2013, around 25 years later, I think I can tell you how difficult it can be to recreate yourself when reimagining your future. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you are asking yourself the same question I did. So let's get to the matter at hand. But before that, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment on my channel. Don't forget to join our mailing list on woolen.com to get coupons for our courses and promotions only available to our subscribers. Our next course is about level design, and you will receive a discount code in release week only by subscribing to woolen.com, which by the way, is free. Without a doubt, Unreal and Unity are the two most powerful game engines at the moment. Now I wish to compare different elements that will help your decision. Also, I'll let you know the personal route I took and the reasons behind it. Maybe some of them will apply to you too. What I will offer is based on my personal experience playing different roles and analyzing present opportunities in the industry. Some people might disagree or agree with me, and your thoughts are always welcome in the comments section. What you're looking for at this moment is to have more clarity and perspective about your potential decisions. I know it's not easy, but the time you take to make a personal analysis is totally worth it. The first element is the market offers. For the last two years, I've been checking different salaries opportunities for both engines. Even though they are usually pretty close, the specialists in Unreal are better paid than in Unity. Variations are from 10% to 100% or more. The reason is that the market has fewer people who know Unreal and its coding language in depth, C++. So this is basically related to offer and demand. The offer of developers is fewer in Unreal than in Unity. Therefore, the salaries for Unreal real are better than those for Unity. The second element is your previous experience in the language. C++ is the language used for Unreal, while C# -sharp is the one used for Unity. In my case, thanks to my career, I had previous experience using C++. In fact, I learned C# -sharp when I started working in Unity. Without getting into the details of both programming languages, it is certain that C# -sharp has more user-friendly interface and the syntax is very easy to get in a short time. In the case of C++, if you don't have previous experience, it wouldn't hurt you to take a course to introduce you into the concepts. Then, the process of understanding C++ and learning the particular classes for Unreal is a thing that might take some time. But if you're familiar with C++, your transition to use it in Unreal should be pretty fast. The third element to consider is the type of game. If you want to create the best graphics and realism in your game, the correct path to take is Unreal. Unreal Engine 5 is known for its cutting-edge graphics capabilities and photorealistic rendering. If your project requires top-notch visuals, realistic environment, and high-quality rendering, Unreal 5 is the choice. Its advancing lighting, physics, and rendering features can help you create a visually stunning and immersive experience. This is especially relevant for projects like AAA games, architectural visualization, cinematography, and high-end simulations where realism is a priority. On the other hand, if you wish to create platformers or top-notch experiences in video games, you don't need to get into the complexities of Unreal. Unity will provide you with everything that you need to make the process easy and fast. But as soon as you get into the third-person or first-person experiences, I would recommend you to consider Unreal. The fourth consideration is what kind of studios do you want to work with? If you want to work with a studio such as Epic Games, the only option you have is Unreal. If you want to build a career to be part of that team, you'll need to move definitely from Unity to Unreal. This is the big leaks. Try to define what are the kind of studios you want to work with and the engine that they use to create their games. Thinking about your career evolutions might help you make an even more progressive transition. You might want to enjoy moving to Unreal just because you wish to expand your future horizons while working full-time in Unity for your current projects. I did it. The fifth consideration is my colleagues and friends. I don't know any person, colleague or friend, that once they moved to Unreal, they wanted to go back to Unity. Once you are in Unreal, you are open to the matrix. And the symbol applies the same way. The majority of people are not out of the matrix. It is hard, it is more difficult, but the reality is that you can't go back. A new level of knowledge, tools, and possibilities are open to you. For saying an example, in the most recent version of Unreal, 5.1 and on, you have a modeling tool to create a static 
objects that can compete with dedicated programs such as Maya and Blender. Based on its current success, I'm pretty sure that they will give us a great surprise about the evolution of this tool in the future. Yes, in fact, you don't need to know other tools or hire other people to do the same job. And the final consideration, probably the most important, is what you wish to create in the future. Suppose you started your career as an indie developer creating very simple games and now you wish to explore more complex 3D artistic style games. In that case, it is a good recommendation to consider moving to Unreal. The good thing is that knowing Unity, many elements will look similar to you. Probably they'll have different names, but in the end, the way things are presented will make sense for you. If it is your passion to create a new style of RPG, open world, third or first person experiences with a top-notch technology to explode the resources of current consoles and last generation gaming computers, Unreal is the way to go. Of course, there are many other considerations that you might take into account. In my case, the ones I mentioned were essential, but the most important was my desire to experiment with the best technology to create third-person games, for which I am a big fan. I built the first years of my career based on indie games, but today I think that it is wiser to try to aim for the stars and in the process figure out the best and easy ways to accomplish what you you need. It is much easier to know how to do complex things and reduce them to simple than going in the opposite direction. My path was changed around four years ago when I decided to experiment with Unreal while working on Unity projects. Today, my professional life changed for the better, not only because of the tools, but because of what I want to build with them. Unreal has proven me to be the best engine to create hyper-realistic third and first-person games. Currently, I am training and coaching people to use Unreal from coding to level design. Nevertheless, it is important to say that it is a challenging process where the only way to succeed is by consistency and iteration. Every day is a day to learn, and every day you must learn something new. Please leave your comments and thoughts. You have the power to complement my ideas, ask questions, and bring more information that others might need. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm preparing more Unreal content that will help you in the process of starting your first experience with this amazing tool. I'll see you later. Cheers.